Today I will try to show you how you can use ChatGPT for preparation for some tech check or technical interview. Let's ask ChatGPT to create some questions for testing knowing JS. Some prompt like test me for knowing JavaScript and it's create several questions to us and we can answer for them. For example, first question will be related to closure in JavaScript. Uh, yeah, I think it's one of the most common question that you can ask. What is closure in JavaScript? Closure in JavaScript, uh, probably it's a combination of a function and the lexical environment within which that function was declared. I think it's the right answer. Closure in JS is a combination of function and the lexical ends within which that function was declared, for remembering the surrounding scope, for access the external variables, for example. All right, mistakes. And it's not true. Function scope and after outer scope, yeah. What is the difference between undefined and now in JavaScript? Undefined is... Undefined is something that has a memory storage but hasn't value and null is something that equal to empty value. Well, yeah. Undefined means that the variable has been declared. Yeah. On the other hand, null is value that represent a value or an empty value explicitly assigned by a programmer. That's great. Uh, next question. Let's ask him. Next question, please. Uh, what is callback function in JavaScript and how it is to use? Callback function is a uh, function. Callback function is a function that passed into another function as an argument and it can be used for calling after some event inside of the upper function, or it can be used for passing some business logic into the upper function. That's great. Next question. I use strict directive in JavaScript and how is it used? It's ES6. It's ES6 directive which make JS more strict. It works by default in modules and prevents global declarations of variables, reassigning the variables, invoke the this in arrow functions. Arrow functions. Mm-hmm. In summary, using the use strict directive is recommended because it leads. Okay, that's nice. Next question. Uh, what is the difference between two equal and three equal in JavaScript? It's easy question. Uh, one is compare values by mm, value. And another comparison by value and type. Next question. What is the difference between let and var? Also one of simple question. Yeah, probably once again about, we should uh, talk about hoisting. Hoisting, VARs are hoisted. For let we have a temporal dead zone, protected redefinition, scope, functional scope for VARs and block scope for let. Or let. Hoisting, temporal dead zone. Mm -hmm. Great, next question. What is the difference between constant let? Oh my gosh. Immutability. <laughs> uh, 
right out of declare it with immutability variables declared with const cannot be reassigned after their initial assignment mm -hmm. and give us some example what is what are some common data types in javascript oh my gosh it was fast it will be string number undefined now mm -hmm. object and symbol one two three Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, string number, wooden undefined, null symbol. Mm -hmm. And object. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, next. What are some? Uh, it's about some array methods or about every array methods? Uh, some. Return. Some method return true or false according to the predicate function, fe, 1, 2. Some a a greater than 1, will return true. Should return true. Mm -hmm. Probably, yeah. It asks us about every method. Mm -hmm. And the last question uh, how do you create an object in javascript with with or object dot create object dot assign with new keyword for class or function constructor Stop. literal notation and new keywords object create and object assign Mm -hmm. Next. Oh, I think it's more than we expected. It was only 10, but we can continue. Yeah. I order function is a... Uh... Hof is a function that taken another function as an argument and use it for change its own logic. In JS at almost all arrays methods. Yeah, I think you can see that ChatGPT is really can help us to passing the interview question. Oh, probably let's try to answer incorrect. What is promise in JavaScript and how does it work? Mm, let's imagine we don't know what is promise. It <laughs> is difficult. Promise is a variable in JavaScript. Yeah, and it corrects us to make a lot of information about promises and probably after this explanation we should know what is it and how does it work. Yeah. In this example, you can see that ChatGPT can really help us to prepare ourselves for passing the technical interview successfully and feel free to use it. Thank you guys and have a good day. Bye.